Hey, this is John Carlos, and I'm here with a look at the True Blood Funko Pop of Pam. She comes with a little disc for her figure to stand on. I like that for the smaller bodied ones, they've included these little discs. Pam is one of my favorite characters on the show. One of the things I like about her is a really dry sense of sass, and I think they did a great job capturing that kind of attitude with this. Um, it's something as simple as just sculpting her hands on her hips conveys a lot of attitude. I think they did a great job with that. And also her legs. I mean, I'm not saying her right leg is totally kicked out, but if you look at the bottom, her right foot is stepping forward a bit. There's ever so slightly, you know, her leg is coming forward a bit. And that kind of hip placement kind of creates a level of sass too. So I think they did a great job with that. And they did a good job with the, uh, the face in general. Uh, I bought this at Beach Ball Comics, which is part of Corner Store Comics, and uh, they only had one in stock, and normally I like to compare and contrast, but uh, from what I saw, this was like a pretty good figure as far as paint goes. Uh, if you look at her eyes, you'll notice that the black eyeball does not cover the entire sculpt of where the eye would go. Uh, but I think it's intentional. I feel like they tried to give her slightly smaller eyes. Um, but the paint on her lips is good, and the fangs look good. Um, even the little nitpicks I had with hair weren't enough to really cause me to not get this. You can see that the paint doesn't totally cover the sculpt there, and it kind of bleeds over ever so slightly on the edge of her face there. Again, not that bad. The only other thing that was also there, but not that bad, is the uh, bleed over from her skirt onto her thighs. But the uh, paint on this overall is really good. I think they did a great job sculpting her shirt and painting it. It's like a corset cut shirt. Um, there's this little ridge that goes along the uh, where the shirt meets the skirt. And uh, even just these little lines right in the stomach. There's some really good basic little sculpting being done on this that I dig. Even the little points on her shoulder. And her gloves are painted really well too. They did a good job with really clean details on her gloves and where the skin shows through. I've seen pops in the past where this could have been messy, but this is really clean. So I really, really dig that. I think it did a great job with her, her sculpt. The paint's clean. I dig the boots. Everything about this figure turned out really good. If you're a fan of Pam and Funko Pops, I think you're going to dig this pop a lot because I think it looks really great. Thanks for watching.